Hey again guys and welcome back in my last mailbag I got these two uh, 24 volt uh, 6 amp power supplies and they were a little bit sketchy I mean they came kind of popped apart and yeah I have a use case for these guys but they need to be able to handle a little bit of load so I'm going to try to load test them today and if they fall apart uh, then well I guess I'm going to have to get some new ones. Um, 24 volts times 6 amps that's just under 150 watts so let's see what we can do with this uh, Banggood load tester. Tilted the load tester up a little bit to eliminate some glare. Uh, these have a barrel jack and so does the load tester hopefully yeah they're the same size that's perfect and I just need to grab the AC cable make sure these are turned all the way down plug it in okay so the load tester is showing 24.7 volts and we're gonna try to pull six amps out of it I don't remember I think this is 150 watt max so we're going to climb up there until we get close and then edge it out with the fine adjust. Pulling five and a half amps. Oh, but we're at 10 volts. That's not good. 11, 12, 13. So Oh, already at only 4 amps pulled, I am down to 20.3 volts. That's not good. When I get up to 5 amps, I'm down to 11 volts. And it just browned out right there. Yeah, it looks like, wow, looks like the most we can do at 24 volts is about 3.5 amps. Well, that's not good at all. Let's try the second one. Okay, 24.8, start cranking it up. Nah, it falls on its face. These things are not going to do the job. That's actually really sad. But it just goes to show you can't trust the face value of an Amazon listing. I'm going to put a link to, the, um, to this item here on Amazon but I would not recommend that you guys buy it. Ooh that's hot. That heat sink is hot. Just uh, 76 watts but the fan isn't going yet. So this thing can do about 80 watts but it cannot do the advertised 140 some. That's a shame. These are going right back to Amazon. Thanks for watching.